A very warm word of welcome as we continue our spiritual reflection and reflecting on the lives of the saints series. Saint Ignatius of Loyola often said that it was because of his reading and reflecting on the lives of the saints that he got so much closer to God and was so instrumental in so much of the good work that he did in later years. On the 14th day of August, we reflect on the life of Saint Maximilian Kolbe, a fascinating life of a man born in Poland in the 1890s and because of his interest in matter spiritual became a Franciscan priest and he gathered around him a group of followers who were hugely dedicated to Our Lady and they were on fire with the proclamation of the Word of God, so full of zeal to spread the good word, the good news of the Gospel in whatever modern means they could, whether it was local radio or pamphlets or booklets uh, or books or however they could possibly do it. So unfortunately then in the 1940s, because of the good work that they were doing in helping refugees and particularly in housing Jewish people, they were rounded up and sent into captivity. And the story is very famous that Maximilian Kolbe sacrificed his life for the life of a family man. And that man was present at his canonization in later years. There is a beautiful prayer that captures the essence of this feast day and it runs as follows. Grant, O Lord Jesus, that I too may give myself entirely without reserve to the love and service of my heavenly Queen in order to better love and serve all people in imitation of your humble servant, Saint Maximilian Kolbe. Help me to learn by this example and grow in sanctity, knowing that you call us all to sainthood. Saint Maximilian Kolbe, pray for us all. Amen.